Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with an absolutely dreadful, I mean awful, oh my God, it's so bad, Beethoven Symphony Cycle, featuring Zubin Mehta. Oh, I wish it weren't so. I really do. I mean, I had such hopes. I, 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 I mean, I shouldn't have, I suppose. Um, this is Zubin Mehta conducting the the uh, Maggio Musicale Fiorentino Orchestra and Chorus on the Dynamic label. Um, and recordings that were made rather recently between September and October 2021, and it's September 2022, which is, I think, sort of during the height of the pandemic at one point, wasn't it? Was anybody there? Was anyone doing it? How did they do it? I, I don't even have a clue. All I could tell you is this. If you always wondered why period instruments were necessary, here's your excuse. Here's the rationale. Because this is as soggy, indifferently played, boringly interpreted collection of traditional Beethoven performances as we are ever going to hear. I mean it. They're just, you know, I've talked about Zubin made his career here on this label, and here on this label, on this channel, pardon me, and also in my editorials on classicstoday.com about how I think he's gotten something of a bum rap because he really is a wonderful conductor in the late romantic repertoire. He's never been been regarded as a you know first class interpreter of the Viennese classics. Um, the Viennese classics being, you know, Haydn, Mozart, Beethoven, and Brahms. And he's made very few recordings of that music. He hasn't done a complete Beethoven cycle. His Brahms, he's done a couple of times. His Brahms isn't bad. It's really not bad at all. As long as you're in the second half of the 19th century onward, you're in very good shape with Zubin Mehta. He, you really are. He's done some terrific contemporary music. His recordings with Los Angeles are just splendid, splendid, wonderful things. And I, I think he deserves a box, a big deck of box of his non-LA stuff, um, because some of that is just terrific as well. In New York, he became the sort of post ormandy accompaniment conductor kind of guy. And his other recordings were duplicates of stuff that he'd done largely better elsewhere. It was really kind of a shame. And I think the fact that he was of non-European origin has always counted against him. There's been an undercurrent of prejudice, I think, leveled against him in his career. So I had hopes. I was hoping that he had saved up all of his energy, all of his 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 muscle, all of his his interpretive genius for a a a late career Indian summer Beethoven cycle for the ages. I wanted it. I was ready. I was just ready, and it didn't happen. Oh boy, did it not happen! I mean, these performances are slow. They are soggy. They are soft edged. They are boomily recorded without any kind of tactile presence. I, I, where where do we start? I mean, I could just give you some some samples. The Eroica. Okay, the Eroica. Oh my God, the first movement seems to go on forever. It starts with those wonderfully splayed chords that actually some period instrument people do on purpose. Here it's Oh my God just awful. It's unlistenable. It's really unlistenable. It's impossible to get through. I mean, it seems like the, the, the tempos are not so bizarre if you look at them like on paper, but everything just sounds like it's recorded through cheesecloth, you know, under a veil, through a fog. I mean, use your own, <laughs> your own imagery. It's just boring. It's boring beyond belief. The fourth, I mean, all the tensile energy in that music, you know, it, it should snap. That's like a whiplash of energy. Oh my God, whiplash? No, the strings are terribly, terribly sloppy. They're often, you know, not together, not in an obvious, well, sometimes in an obvious way, but more often, more often just, you just get no sense of, of, of alertness, alertness of ensemble, the fifth symphony. Oh my God, the finale, 
the finale where they should erupt with a blaze of light of glory. Da 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 bum 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 bum. It's like da yeah yeah yeah. Part of it is just I think it's too slow. I mean, it doesn't have to be that slow. A clemperer could be that slow. You could be slower, but but the energy was there. The alertness. The grandeur, the majesty, the something, the what? I don't know. Pick your pick your thing that's supposed to be there. It's not here. It's just not here. The pastoral symphony. Uh, I mean, why do you go to the country? Well, obviously, you go to the country to die because there's room for your grave site out there somewhere in the country. The seventh symphony. <gasps> Holy crappers. Again, that opening chord, you know, bump. Not here. It's timpani, and then it, it's almost it's almost two separate notes. It's bum eh, do do, and then once it gets going, dum ba dum bum ba dum bum ba dum bum ba dum yeah da 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 yeah. And the scherzo, which can take forever. Well, here it does take forever, and the finale. Oh, the finale, which has to be it has to be so crisp, so clear. Yum ba dum dum ba dum dum ba da da dum ba da da. It's got to sound like it's. You know, a, a horse waiting to just get out of the gate. You know, it's it's it's, it's got to it's got to push forward and I, I, oh yeah 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 the eighth symphony. You've never heard anything that sounds more impacted. I don't mean compacted. I mean well compacted like trash or impacted like a wisdom tooth. Take your pick. It's one of those. And then we get to the ninth. Notice. I can't do it with this performance. It doesn't have any of the special qualities that you expect in that music, that you've got to hear in a performance of the ninth. I mean, you know, I, I usually, usually, I, you know, it, there's something, something there that says, gee, this is not your average everyday symphony. This is a special event. It is the, the apotheosis of the Viennese classical symphony. It is the most sublime creation ever to emanate from the brain of humankind. Or Even if you don't believe that, you have to play it as though you do. And Maid has done good recordings of it before, by the way. But here with a so-so chorus, it sounds a lot rather undernourished. And, and I, I just... There are no redeeming qualities to these performances. None. I mean, beyond the fact that everybody showed up. It's kind of like, you know, the SATs, you know, when they, in the old days. I don't know what they score them at now, but it used to be 200 to 800, remember? And you get 200 just for showing up and signing your name. Well, this is a 200 performance of the Beethoven symphonies. They showed up. We know who showed up. That they have no other reason for existing. I, I just can't believe that this was even released. And I'm sorry to say it. You have no idea how sorry I am to say it. Oh, well. I, I'm, I, I, I can, there's nothing else, there's nothing else to be said. I, I, I feel terrible. I truly do. I was rooting for these folks, rooting for them tremendously, but you don't always get what you pray for. That's the truth. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care.